Hello everyone, today we're doing an experiment to investigate the differences between elements, compounds and mixtures. Okay, and for that experiment we will be needing some iron fillings, sulfur powder and iron sulfide, pieces of photo paper, a magnet, a marker, a spatula and a mortar and pestle and of course gloves. So to start I'm going to put on the gloves and then we'll move on to the first step. So the first thing I'm going to do is take four pieces of filter paper and number them one, two, four. Okay. And on, on these pieces, on the first one, I'm going to put four scoops of iron filling. One, be careful not to get this all over the place. The second one, I'm gonna add four scoops of iron sulfide. Now for Photo papers three and four. On the third photo paper, I'm going to add a mixture of the two. Okay, so I'm going to add into the mortar two scoops of sulfur powder and two scoops of iron fillings and mix that up. Okay, after it's all mixed up, I'll add that to the third filter paper. And on the last filter paper, I'm going to put pieces of iron sulfide. But now because of the size of it, I'm going to ground it up a little first. Okay, as you can see it does almost look like small rocks. But we will be grounding them up. So I'm going to add these small pieces of iron sulfide to my mortar and just ground them up using the pestle. Now that all of those pieces of iron sulfide are ground up, I'm going to transfer it to the fourth filter paper. And there we go. We are going to examine all four of these substances and then record our findings on the table. So, we are going to examine these four substances. On the first one, we have iron fillings, which is pure iron. This is our element. On the second filter paper, we have sulfur powder, which is also pure sulfur. So that will be our second element. On the third filter paper, we have a mixture of iron and sulfur. And the last filter paper is a compound um, which is made from these two elements, iron and sulfur. The first thing we will be looking at is the texture of the substances. Okay, you can see iron, it's a very coarse texture. Sulfur would be fine, it will have a finer texture. Um, the third one, the mixture of iron and sulfur, would have a mixed texture. Okay, and the last one. It also has a coarse texture, but if you ground it up fine enough, I think you would get a, flow, a finer texture. Okay, there's a difference in the color as well. Iron has a, the iron fillings have a grayish color. Our sulfur powder, can you see, has a very bright yellow color to it. The mixture has a, a mix of colors. We have yellow and gray, but the yellow is not as bright as is in the sulfur powder alone and the compound iron sulfide is very dark almost black in color okay for this part we are going to be looking at the magnetic properties of the two elements i have a piece of magnet here and to test the magnetic properties of the two substances i will be using another filter paper between the magnet and the substance okay the first one i will be looking at is iron the iron fillings 
I will be gathering the iron filings and placing my magnet on top of it to see if these pieces of iron will be attracted to it. And as you can see, you can almost pick up all of the iron fillings with this magnet. So, are the iron fillings magnetic? Yes, they are. Let me just remove the purple paper. Okay. Now the same thing I did with the first with the iron fillings, I'll do that with the sulfur powder as well. I'm replacing the filter paper between the powder and the magnet. You see? So sulfur powder is not magnetic. Nothing is happening when I place the magnet on top of the filter paper. Okay, now using a magnet, we are going to try and see if we can separate the iron fillings from the sulfur powder. Again, placing the filter paper over the mixture and then just moving my magnet over it to see if I can get all of those iron pieces of iron off of it. And then I will be transferring it to another filter paper. Now, as you can see, that was fairly easy. We were able to separate the iron fillings from the powder. We are going to try and separate the iron fillings from the sulfur in the compound iron sulfide. Okay, placing my filter paper over it so that the pieces don't get stuck to the magnet and then I'm placing my magnet on top. But when I lift it up, as you can see here, the iron sulfide gets stuck so it is magnetic, yes, but am I able to separate the iron fillings from the sulfur in the compound? No. Okay guys, as you can see, we were able to separate the two substances from each other in a mixture using physical methods such as magnetic separation. But this was not possible with the compound iron sulfide. So that is one of the main differences between mixtures and compounds. With mixtures, you can separate them through physical methods such as filtration, condensation, evaporation, magnetic separation and hand sorting and compounds that you can't use physical methods to separate the two elements. Okay, thank you for watching guys and join us next time. We will be making a video on the formation of iron sulfide.